Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft Season 6. Today we're starting things off on the tallest building nowadays on Sahara Street. Uh, not really, give me a second. Yeah, there we go. So today we're starting things off on the tallest building on Sahara, off Sahara Street. And I gotta say, wow by the way, to Rendox castle thing and this thing coming up here. I don't know who's building this, uh, but <laughs> my house is looking pretty silly. It's looking really dumb. It's like a staircase right now, which I guess, I guess that's pretty cool. But I said that I would have the best house on the street and I gotta give it to Grian. I personally really love what he has done here. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. And it's kind of, kind of got that weird weird feeling to it, magical fantasy feeling. I, I, I'm, I really like it. And Mamba brought over his style from his island as well. And I was actually inside his house, it looks absolutely smashing. I honestly think the interior of this house is better than the exterior. I mean, he's got a fantastic view, etc, etc. This is way more impressive than my, than my house. Both of these houses are way more impressive, except for this button placement on the floor. That's, that's weird, Mambo. So I got a little bit of an idea for what to do in order to beat both of these masters at building. At least when it comes to <laughs> building the tallest thing here on the street. But I'm very curious to start off today to have a look at Sahara Express. Did we make any sales? Because I, I'm, I'm broke. I'm completely broke after stocking this. We did make some sales. Yes! I kind of heard rumors that this was actually our very first customer was rent. Wait a minute. Someone has been eating on the carrots. Uh, okay. Anyway, our very first customer, I think, was Rendog in a live stream of his. Did we sell anything else? Oh, we actually sold on grass. We sold gravel. Yeah, well, that's perfect. And we sold glowstone. That's fantastic. I mean, I think this is the only shop on Hermitcraft server at the moment that sells glowstone. So, oh, we even sold some of my iron as well. Yeah, all in all, we made 14 diamonds, which is not bad. That's, that's, that's pretty good. I mean, it's 14 more diamonds than I have at the moment. I just realized that these are the 14 first ever Sahara made Diamonds. I mean, so far this project has just costed a, m a ton of money. And so we need to probably celebrate this at some point with the boys and let them know that we actually made 14 diamonds, which equals to, to five diamonds for me, five for Mambo, and, and two to Green, and, and then two for something else, for, for, for the parrots. No, but in all seriousness, we need to celebrate this. And I'm not really sure, because we didn't, we haven't made any mon money yet, I'm not really sure what we're gonna do about sharing the money. We should probably have some kind of vault in the main Sahara building where we store all the diamonds and can compete with Concorp in that regards, because they are, yeah, they are scaringly rich at the moment. Speaking about Sahara, to begin this episode, we are going to go back to the mainlands where we are about to have a meeting with Grian and Mambo. I mean, Grian has read the tech report that me and Mambo wrote to him, and I, I guess he has some questions. Sahara is brilliant. What <laughs> does that mean? It's brilliant. It is brilliant. I mean, yeah. what what do you mean by what does that mean? It's have you not seen around. it? Yeah. Well, I know that, but from a technical report, I don't know what that means. <laughs> does it mean it's working completely and flawlessly? It just means that it's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> also, don't actually read that book. I lost the real book. This, oh, this see book. now oh. here's see now right okay. <laughs> I mean, you you're coming in here, you're blasting us for our tech report writing but you don't even have the decency <laughs> to keep hold of the tech report i mean this, well, is happy, why. No, this, put, this we... book has exactly the same content as the oh. one that we had so i think sahara is now fantastic yeah i i can totally get behind fantastic, that is it ready? fantastic is it ready it is i love i love the word smashing. fantastic smashing is yeah. good you know what, as well this, this tech report really yeah this really does say everything it's empty isn't it, 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 it that's what he's gonna say isn't it <laughs> And it's the most for starters. And it just says That's but. all it says. For goodness sake. I found it in the iTrade Center. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Well, I mean, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, this is why he's not tech lead, okay? Because he, yeah. he doesn't, yeah. you know, fantastic smashing is brilliant and it's, and it's going to be opening and ready to go soonish, okay? These are all good words. These are fantastic exactly. words, indeed. Uh huh. Yeah. All right, so why don't we go and see if it actually works? Come on, let's go and see it in action. Wow, I, okay. Uh, talk Wait, about breaking uh, an entrance. See, I knew I was onto something, Iskal, by making that massive hole in. Oh, you still haven't oh, fixed it? <laughs> <laughs> For goodness sake! <laughs> no, of course oh. I haven't fixed it. No, I I've been saying it's just a bold architectural decision. <laughs> There's also a, a bit of a queue outside. I don't know if you guys have oh. seen. I added oh. this like red ribbon for the grand yeah. opening, uh, but there's oh, actually nice. yeah, there's a queue outside. We're, oh, we're, we're my legit. goodness! This we're like is a big corporation. I'm bored, mommy. <laughs> that is so good. That's very cool. People are oh. camping outside the shop for our new release. Can do it's, it. It's a brilliant queue. Brilliant yes. line. Brilliant. I like fantastic It's queue. fantastic and smashing. <laughs> yep. Yeah, the light's stuck. I don't know what's going on there. But there's stuff oh, on, no. So... Someone sent stuff here. Uh-oh. Yeah, we have no stock at the there's... moment is what this shows. Um, right. Someone must Wait, have thrown bit, something it, in it, the it, system. Gal, have you sent anything? I have, I have not. I have not. By the second lamp means that it's failed. No, it's found a decoder, and then it's failed to shoot out the Schalke box. That's weird. So it must have been an item that it wasn't in the system. What the hell? So you're telling me that it's broken? Well, no. It's no, not broken, it's, it's just... just someone sent an item in that shouldn't be sent in to the system. Oh, that's um, not good. <laughs> Green. Uh... Green. Yeah. <laughs> Do you, I, I have I you been pushing... It. Okay. You know what? A, like 12, 15 episodes ago, there, we said, a... do not touch <laughs> any of the redstone. We can make a roller coaster for you, but don't touch any redstone. I Everybody... didn't touch any redstone. I, in, I didn't go anywhere near the redstone. I was just looking around, trying to make mm -hmm. it work. I suspected this, all right? I've been reading through my YouTube comments, okay? Oh, and no. I've heard news about a certain spud that has entered the Sahara system, okay? <laughs> and I feel like that spud might actually have your name on it. Yeah, it doesn't have my name on it. It still says baked potato. I thought I could just make it work because there was no, you, I heard you guys Look, had finished okay. from the tech report. So I was like, oh, you know. We didn't say, we didn't say yeah. finish. We said brilliant. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, so Sahara I, I is brilliant, that, exactly. doesn't does mean... mean... I thought that meant finish, so I was like, oh yeah, what if oh I just my. throw that in? He's done it again. Oh. It works. I mean, Look, it's okay. now. Sahara oh, is brilliant. Now. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here, Mumbo, this is Mumbo. Bad news. Mumbo, <laughs> Mumbo, 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 <laughs> yeah. come, come over here. No. Hold, hold this for me. It's it's that oh. is brilliant as well. Hold, hold it for me. Throw yeah, something see, out. Uh, yeah. See, no, 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 no. See, look. No, my, my inventory's empty, okay? But my character cares so little about ice. So little. <laughs> oh. That it's not even bothering to pick it up. I've got so it. many spaces in my inventory right now, okay? <laughs> I've got all the spaces. <laughs> empty inventory. Still can't pick it up. Because oh. nobody cares about your sugar box full of ice. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Real Good question, one. though. How do we de-potato the Sahara machine? All the way over here, yes, somewhere. It goes yes. all the way. Your potato mm. has traveled far, far okay. and wide to break so, our question, system. Question: What if a customer decides to throw stuff in there? It doesn't. It, it won't, won't matter because, yeah. First of all, they are not. They they're not five-year-olds. Well, <laughs> yeah. they're not five-year-olds, and uh, the system will be locked. Like the decoders <laughs> will be will be filtered. Oh my! Yep, yeah, there it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I found, I found. What is the spot? <laughs> there was a potato jamming the entire thing. I'm gonna keep this we, potato forever. We had a spot jam. <laughs> we, had a... <laughs> <laughs> we had a blockage in the system. Oh, no. So what, right. what's all this other stuff in here? There's junk all over the place. Yeah, it's like... because oh, it, it doesn't matter. It, it's working is... fine. It's everything is okay. everything is brilliant. Okay. Here. Everything's fantastic. Mumbo. Like everything's okay. smashing. Mumbo, ta yep. take this block. Ah, I knew it! It is full inventory! It was full! Because <laughs> you would definitely have cared about that block. Got him! Got him. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> what are we going to stock Sahara with? Because the grand opening is obviously coming soon-ish. And we can't open the whole thing because there's far too many items so we need to choose very carefully just a select few items to sell 
Sand? Obviously sand. <laughs> I feel like yes. I'm the only one that can't do that. You can do it. Try oh, it. Try. I'm scared. No, I'm too nervous. I've got <laughs> stage fright. Okay, I'm standing Sand? behind this. <laughs> sand? Oh, he did it. <laughs> and I ruined it. <laughs> yeah, that was me. a little bit quietly. Go on. Go on. you got to really commit. Sand. <laughs> no, no, that's... This is why Green is the receptionist. Okay, so sand, what else? What um, else do people really want? Uh, rockets, I, here's a, Yeah, here's the thing. Rockets. Rockets? Yep. Uh, golden potatoes. Golden, no, golden carrots. Not potatoes. <laughs> golden no, potatoes. Don't, don't potato. We're not no, having potato. more... We're not having more spud jams, all right? <laughs> okay. No ice and the pearls? Well, yep. no, not ice. Why would we sell ice? Because yeah. it's is like it, the best... It's a good point, Green. Thank you. <laughs> I, I just like I just gotta ask this question on behalf of a million viewers out there. Is yep. it not so that you have a power beam powering your entire spherical base made out of drum roll eyes? Oh, that really doesn't work, by the way. Oh, that hurt my throat. I don't think. I think it should be. Oh, you be followed me. I thought I thought, I thought I'd run off. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd left the scene. Golden That's why carrots. I thought I couldn't respond. Right. Anyway, yeah. Everyone eats them. Yeah. Rockets. Rockets, sand, and then we need something else. Uh, and, why and, pills? Uh, There's a Podzol. Pod why Podzol? <laughs> I don't know. It was the first block that came to my head. If we if we want to sell stuff, we should sell concrete powder. Concrete powder. Yeah. Mm. Well, we can. I mean, now in Minecraft 1.14, we can do TNT explosions, turn concrete powder into concrete. Yeah. So we could even sell hardened but, concrete. But we don't or... have it right now, though. Yeah, okay, so that's true, a that's see, a later that's, project. That's a we need yes, things that true. we can we need like popular items that we can sell now. End rods? Yeah. Are popular? Yeah. End rods are pretty popular. Oh, I know Mark another one. Plant farm. Glowstone blocks. Glowstone blocks? Yeah. Well, yeah, sea we could lanterns. definitely we could sell we could sell the things that your witch farm makes like redstone. Yeah, redstone, gunpowder, sticks. There we go. The sticks. only no, the only sure. the only problem is that the only two people who buy redstone would be you you and me. Mumble, so well, let's, ah. you know, not worry about that. We've got okay. things to sell, so forget we've got supply our... and demand. Okay, <laughs> yeah, yep. just supply. Just... <laughs> what about ender pearls? Huh? Dude, I don't know how many times you've suggested ender pearls so yeah, far. But every yeah, time I mean, you guys just ignore it. There, like you know, yeah, exactly. I mean, do you want to take? Do you, do you want me to say it? I'm not going to buy ender pearls, and we're not we're not selling ice. <laughs> how? Why are we not selling ice? I've even struck a partnership with Ice Queen about us selling out of, ice. Out of spite. No, we can sell <laughs> yeah. ice, okay? We At can this sell point, ice. it's just a thing. <laughs> you guys suck. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what about... Okay, okay. What about... Uh, what else is there? I mean, what other things? Slime? Slime blocks. Slime, yeah, slime blocks. We, let's sell slime blocks. Yeah. Yes. All right, yeah. there we go. We've got enough items, but we're a bit limited by something at the moment. Oh, yeah. And, uh, I mean, you guys told me we needed an insane amount of shulker boxes, so I went end busting for it. And I got a, a few, but you told me we need, like, Iskal told me we needed 1,400 or something ridiculous. Yep. I managed, to, I got, like, 100 shulker boxes. Yeah. That's pretty impressive. That's yeah. good going. Yeah, mm -hmm. so originally I think we needed 1,400. I think now with the re. The changing of the system, I think we might only need 600. But the problem is you need nine for every single dropper or every single dispenser. Mm, then you need maths. nine for the dropper and five for the hopper. And that's for I'm every gonna fast module. forward this segment. <laughs> How many do we need? How many do we need? I don't know. I haven't done any calculations. Oh, you just I was just making that, that up. I was just white noising, okay? Well, we, we cut, we cut, we, heard, okay? we cut half of the half of the warehouse already due to uh, stuff. So 600? 600. 600. We'll just 600. say 600. 600. 600. So yeah. 500, because I've already collected 100. We need 500 shulker okay. boxes. Oh, that's a lot. So, plan of action. Shulker boxes. Grand opening. It's happening. Yes. When? Soon. <laughs> Soon? That's good, Mumbo. That's, that's like, brilliant. He's soon. getting there. He's starting. Yeah. To... Maybe he's the new tech lead. We need to get no. him a hard hat. No. Okay. Really? Yay! <laughs> How did you have that so on demand? <laughs> I'm I'm hard I'm Sahara, dude. 
I'm Sahara. It blends like, in too much with your hair, dude. I'm gonna yeah. Make, make sure the machine is potato proof. Oh no! Yeah, oh this no! This is oh, bad. No! 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 no, no. no. Make sure no. the machine. Is hard. <laughs> if I can shut down Sahara with one potato, you guys aren't doing your job properly. I'm just saying. Well, this is a really weird head. <laughs> really weird head. <laughs> the Ravager head. It has like a little tiny nose. Anyway, with Sahara opening soon, TM, uh, I thought that we should spend some more time in the village because as I said in the beginning of this episode, yeah, my house is just, it's just not good enough. The goal is to build the tallest house. And... I gotta say, I got like the most fun idea ever. I'm super excited, but I gotta go back to the mainlands and collect a bunch of resources for this project. I cannot tell you guys how frequently I find Grian randomly AFK on the Hermitcraft server. And I feel like it's sort of my responsibility to make sure that he doesn't die. So for this project, I need a ridiculous amount of wool, which... Luckily, we built that automatic sheep farm, so we should be good. The only problem is I need it in a lot of different colors. But this gives me a perfect opportunity to come back to the lab. And as some of you probably have seen, I have now got Optifine. Because Optifine is out for 1.14.2 and Minecraft is looking absolutely beautiful again. I got my non-connected glass texture, which obviously looks even better with this fantastic new glass. Oh my goodness, it's so good. And... The frames in the lab is a lot better. It It's actually a lot better. <laughs> and the lab looks so good. When I said that I needed a lot of different colored wool, I wasn't joking. <laughs> this, this looks like a box of candy. I love it. <laughs> in addition to my wool addiction right now, I'm also going to visit Bamboozle. I hear it's a new impulse shop in the mall somewhere that sells... The scaffolding. This place is really like filling up really nicely. Ooh, I like this. Six stacks for a diamond. Six stacks for two diamonds. Uh, oh. Oh, I see. Ah, okay. These are the things I want. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. My elytra broke. And I fell into the lab. I managed to get out with all the stuff on me. I cannot believe that I survived that. Oh, I was about to lose all the resources that I prepped. Oh my goodness. Look at this guy. Thief. Thief. How am I going to kill him? <laughs> I don't even have a good sword. It may be very, very bad, but we got to be Vikings. We got to try it. Hey, dude, give me back my stuff, please. Oh. Yeah, that armor is pretty good. Okay, okay, okay. And fly away. Uh. Uh. Woo! I think we're out. I think we're out. This Elytra is almost <laughs> dead as well, though. My goodness, that was traumatic. That was a traumatic experience that I just went through. <laughs> Green, Mumbo. Here I come. The goal is to have the tallest, tallest house on Sahara Street. And I'm gonna beat both of you. I decided to make this project into a third person time lapse cutscene thing because I know the scale of it. Anyway, I realized at this point in time that I haven't really told anyone what my plans are and I had a lot of different ideas once I saw Greens and Mumbo's extensions and the one that I finally decided upon came from me watching the movie Up during this last weekend and if you haven't seen the movie it's an animated film from Pixar and Disney I believe where uh, a, an old man basically attaches a ton of balloons to his house and by doing so he lifts it up in the sky and then he flies it over to another part of the world and I'm not going to spoil the rest of the movie but it's an absolutely fantastic movie and he has this awkward weird kind of colorful looking house that he does this with and I just thought well I could be Build like an extended modern build on top of my house or do something uh, weird where it would look like a skyscraper. Actually, in, in fact, I was really, really into the skyscraper idea for the longest time. I, I think I have maybe 
10 sketches in a creative world of, of skyscrapers that I wanted to do on top of my building. But yeah, I, I saw the movie and I finally decided on this. So here I've actually finished the house, which took me, I, I'm not joking, this took me so many hours because I suck at making roofs and it was really, really hard to get it correctly. But it, it is sort of a replica of the house from the movie. And so I start with the balloons, which this process took so many hours as well. But I think, I think this idea was just so funny that... I, I just had to do it. I, I had to I had to do it. Now the tricky part with building this part here in Minecraft is obviously the fact that we, we are working in a block world. We don't really have like spheres and stuff and more importantly I wanted to make an illusion that uh, from the movie that there are a thousand different balloons and not just one big giant balloon and and I tried this out in creative first and I in a creative test world that is and yeah it's really hard to make it work but what I did was I placed every single wool not next to it not neighboring a color of the same wool color up and down diagonally etc etc which is why this part took much longer than you would maybe think just because i had to measure it out and stuff and hopefully you guys like the result hopefully it turned out to be thousands of balloons not just one big balloon even though yeah to some extent it, it does look it does look like one big balloon anyway let's get back onto the server now with the tallest house of sahara street so I've started to add a bit of uh, detail, such as windows. I decided to go with magenta windows because that's what it is in the movie. And I think it looks really cool. Now, obviously, the interior of this thing is absolutely non-existent. And <laughs> it definitely needs doing. But for now, I want to take a big look from the outside how this looks. Because I haven't really seen it that well while building it. I've learned a lot about scaffolding though, and it's been a lot of fun to build this. But let's head all the way down, and we have one giant task as well, and that is to break all of the scaffolding. Hopefully by just breaking the bottom pieces here, and hopefully everything should should come down. Knock that out, that should... Oh, oh, okay, that took down a little bit, and then the rest of the scaffolding is hopefully held up by these four in the edge anyway let's take a look at this i still don't have an elytra i have been using ender pearls and scaffolding and wow okay that is looking breathtaking <laughs> yes yes that is looking really good <laughs> oh my goodness okay i gotta take away the scaffolding I wonder if this is going to be one of the most satisfying things in the world. Oh, that is... It is very satisfying. It is extremely satisfying. There's the next one. Oh, that is... Okay, that is... That is satisfying. That is very satisfying. <laughs> the sound! The sound is so good. Last one. Oh... Yes! No, there's one piece there! For goodness sake! Now my elytra has 12 durability, I wonder if I can punch the- why is that- that- why is that floating? Oh, I got it! Why was that floating like that? That was kind of weird, I wonder if that's a bug there. So with the scaffolding removed and Mumbo sleeping through the night, let's get a look at our house. Which is now, by far, <laughs> the tallest. It looks a little bit weird, um, like the balloons are a little bit weird on this side here, but... Yeah, if you look at it from the front, that's good. I may work a little bit more on the balloons, may extend them a little bit. It's, it was very hard to tell when building it, because I tried to go with different colors everywhere. <laughs> but that, ladies and gentlemen, is the tallest house... On Sahara Street. <laughs> I mean, technically it's not connected to our house. So maybe we'll have to make some kind of weird stair staircase going up there just to connect it. But it is the tallest house on Sahara Street. No question about it. And it's fully functional. Uh, the only way to get up though is by flying up. But it is fully functional. It is an actual house. Bushes always make everything better, by the way. So I'm gonna add a little bit of these things here. Look at how small Mambo looks from down there. Or from up here, I mean. He looks so small. Kind of like his house. Looks very small in comparison. 
<laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like our new balloon lifted house on Sahara Street. I definitely have to do something with, with that little edge there. I'm going to do that in between episodes. But that's going to do it for today. We are way out of time. I've spent a lot of hours on this project. And I'm so very happy with the result. I think it turned out great. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit the like button down below. And if you're brand new, consider subscribing. And I will see you dudes <laughs> in the next <laughs> episode. Green, press yeah. press F1. No. Oh. I, I did that trick to you. I'm not... I, I know, <laughs> I thought I could get you back. Trick. I thought I could get you back. What is that trick? <laughs> press F1. Well, on, I'll show you. Yeah. Look me dead in the eye. Look at us yeah. both. Look at us both. Press, press F1. Press F1. What? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> That's really, really funny.